I'm Zaina, I'm with the Creativity Lab, and today we are going to be doing a rainbow in the jar density experiment. In this experiment, we're going to be exploring density by learning how to layer sugar water to make a rainbow. Before we start the experiment, let's really quickly go over what exactly density is. Density is used to describe how much space an object takes up, or its volume, in relation to how much matter is in that object, or its mass. If we have a really, really heavy object, but it's really small in size, that means that its matter is compact and that it has a very high density. If we have an object that's really big and spread out, but very, very light, that means that that object has a very low density because its matter is not compact. For example, let's look at this pillow. This pillow is relatively big, but it's very, very light meaning that it has a very low density. Versus this textbook that's smaller than the pillow, but a lot heavier, meaning it has a higher density than the pillow. Another way you can think about what density is, is let's say you were having a pillow fright with one of your friends and you hit them with the pillow. It wouldn't hurt that much because the pillow is soft and has a very low density. Versus if you were to accidentally hit your friend with this textbook, because it has a really high density, it would hurt a lot. Now that you guys understand what density is, let's get on to the experiment. The really cool thing about this experiment is that it requires a lot of creativity. I'm gonna do the experiment but with only four colors, but you can change up those colors and you can even add more colors if you want. There's so much room to explore with this experiment and that's why I think it's so awesome. So let's get on to the materials. Because there's so much creativity involved in this experiment, you might have to make a few adjustments to the materials that you need. I'm doing only four colors, so I'm gonna need about four plastic cups or any type of cup. Um, you also need one half cup of warm water per color. So because I'm doing four, I'm using two cups of water. If you do more or less colors, you're gonna have to adjust the water and the amount of cups that you need. You also need about one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Again, depending on how many colors you use, you might have to adjust this amount. You will also need a um, mason jar or another clear type of cup to see the rainbow colors in it. You're gonna need um, some food coloring, a tablespoon measuring spoon, as well as a regular spoon or anything else that you can use to stir. And you're also going to need another one and a half cup measurement tools to pour your water in. I just chose another measuring cup. You can use anything. And finally, you are going to need a straw. This experiment could get a little messy, so I recommend putting down a mat or a towel of some sort to cover your surface um, so that your surface doesn't get dirty or ruined. So now that you have your towel down and all your materials ready, let's get started on the experiment. What you're gonna do first is fill every single plastic cup for each corresponding color with half a cup of warm water. Now that you have your water ready in your cups, you're going to add two drops of whatever color food coloring you want into the cups. For me, I'm going to do red, green, blue, and yellow. Now that we have all of our colors ready and done, we're going to go ahead and start to add the sugar. For the top level, we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. For the second layer from the top, we're gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of sugar. For the third layer from the top, we're gonna go ahead and add six tablespoons of sugar. For the fourth layer from the top, or the bottom layer if you want, we're gonna go ahead and add eight tablespoons of sugar. And if you were to do a fifth layer, you would go ahead and add 10 tablespoons of sugar. Once you have all your sugar in your cups, you're gonna go ahead and stir it until it dissolves. If your sugar isn't stirring into your colors, you can go ahead and put it in the microwave for increments of 30 seconds to warm the water up so that the sugar can dissolve. By dissolving incrementing amounts of sugar into these waters, we can already see a change in density. As the blue and the red used to be the same amount of water, now the blue has more because its density has increased. Once you guys are done stirring and dissolving all the sugar, it's time to move on to the really cool part, which is adding all the colors into the jar to make a rainbow. You're gonna start off with your base layer or the layer that you added the most sugar to, in this case, mine is blue, and you're gonna add about an inch of it to the mason jar. Once you've got an inch of that base water in there, we're gonna go ahead and get your second color and we're gonna take a straw and slowly get a little liquid in the straw, hold it to the side of the mason jar and let go, adding more liquid. 
This is a technique that we use so that the water and the colors don't get mixed up and just make a murky brown, and this way they stay in their layers and create a rainbow. Once you're done adding your second color, it's time to use the same technique on the third and fourth and maybe fifth colors. Now that you guys are done adding all the colors into your jar, hopefully you have a rainbow that kind of looks like this, or maybe a bit different depending on the colors that you use. The reason that this experiment is so cool and the reason that it works is because we created different densities with the color water that we used. We added different, amount of, different amounts of sugar to each color, and when we stirred it together, we created different densities. For the red color, we only added two tablespoons of sugar, making the water density pretty low, versus the blue color, which we added eight tablespoons of sugar, which has a really, really high water density. The higher the density of a liquid, the more likely it'll sink. So that's why we have the blue color at the bottom, because it has the highest density, and then the green, and then the yellow, and then the red. That's why this experiment works, and that's how density works. I hope you guys had a really fun time doing this experiment, and thank you for watching.